Hello yogis and welcome to class. My name is Marie. Today's practice is called Mermaid Flow. So the sequence will lead us to Mermaid Pose and King Pigeon Pose, also known as Ekapada Raja Kapitasana. So let's get started into Virasana. You will need a strap and a pillow. Knees together, wide of your feet apart, so your heels are going to be to your outer hips distance. Place the pillow underneath your hips and sit. Some of you might not need the pillow, but it makes us more comfortable for the knees. So heels really outside of your hips. Allow your hands to rest onto your lap, palms facing up, and close your eyes. Breathe deep. Allow your spine to be long. And take the seat of the observer. Observing how you're reacting to the shape, physically and mentally. Acknowledging how you're feeling today emotionally and spiritually. Allow your heart to come forward and lead your practice with a lot of compassion, kindness, and patience toward yourself. You're working a lot into the hips which hold a lot of emotions and sometimes it triggers a lot of emotions to release. So always, anytime, remain calm, breathe through anything that shows up. Again, compassionate and kind to toward you. Visualize the beautiful thread of your energy from your tailbone to your head and your head to your tail. Lengthen up a little higher, away from your seats. And you practice Ujjayi Pranayama in and out of your nose. With a slight vibration of your vocal cords, slight contraction of your throat. We'll try to keep that technique throughout the class if you can. Inhale. Exhale. Palms to your heart center into Anjali Mudra. Bow your chin to your chest and lift your heart. Recognize and acknowledge that throughout the practice you will remain calm, compassionate, and kind. Slowly open your gaze and welcome yourself to your practice. Namaste, everyone. We start with a shoulder flossing. It's still seated into Virasana. If it's still a little tight for the knees or ankles, you're more than welcome to shift and change into Vajrasana on the heels. Take your strap in front of you. You're going to work the elevation and the depression of your shoulders. So tend the strap really straight. Don't let it loose. Arms are straight. Inhale, elevate the shoulder blades up. Exhale to press the shoulder blades down. You want your belly and pelvic floor to be toned front ribs closer to your front hip bones. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale. Last one up, exhale. There it goes. Place the strap away from you. Release the pillow, face down, prone position. Lie down on your belly. Open your arms wide to a T position. Roll onto your right side body as you tense your left fingers under the left shoulder. Bend the left leg. And then use the left foot to guide you away, 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 away. So nice stretch along your right peg. Nice stretch along your front left hip flexor. And take two more breaths here. One more. Always reaching out to the right. And in, out, and come back through the center, we switch, left arm out, bend the right knee, tend the right fingers and roll on your left, nice prone twist, getting the right hip flexors open, the left peg open, two more breaths here, in, out, follow the ebb and flow of your breath, to guide you into more depth or less depth, depending how you feel. We 
you're not here to make yourself into shapes. You're just here to honor whatever shows up. Come back to the center, press up, tabletop position, exhale. My hands underneath your hips, press the shins down and the tops of the ankles down, hands under your shoulders, spread the fingers wide, press the inner knuckles down, bring the eyes of the elbows forward, the biceps forward, the triceps back. You already have the action of down dog into the arms. Inhale, drop the belly, present your heart and lungs forward, look up. Exhale, round your spine, push the belly up and then take your chin to your chest. Invite the neck into that movement. We take three more. Inhale, drop the belly, arch your spine, look up. Exhale, round your spine, push the ground away from the shins and the knees as well. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last one, breath in. Breath out. Come back to neutral tabletop position. Nice. Sweep your right leg back behind you. Flex the right foot. Exaggerate the internal rotation of your right leg. Toes are pointing down. Push from the right palm. Left arm in front of you with the external rotation of the shoulder. Thumb up. Pinky down. Inhale, lengthen in opposite. Exhale, kick your right heel to your back. Circle the arm around. Get the external rotation of your shoulder. Get the outside of your foot. And then kick up into your hand. We hold for two. From the pressure of the right palm, from the pressure of the left knee, we hold. One more breath, maybe you kick a little higher, you look past your left shoulder up to the foot. And then you release, inhale. Exhale, tabletop. Switching side, left leg back, breathing in. Right arm in front of you. Hold the shape, pull the belly up and in. As you exhale, kick your heel to your butt, circle the arm around, get the outside of your foot with the external rotation of your shoulder, and then kick up. One more inhale. Release as you inhale, lengthen in opposite. Pull the belly up and in. Exhale, tabletop position. Nice. Curl your toes under, push your hips up and back. I'm in Kashvanasana, down facing dog. When you're right in your down dog, find the external rotation in your shoulders and jog your legs. And then one knee the other, press one heel down and alternate. You would feel it all along the Achilles heel, all the way up to the insertion of your hamstrings. Soften your jaw and your eyes. Find down facing dog still. Bending the knees is always nice for a slight more length into your lower back. Inhale, come and round forward into plank. Exhale, drop your hips close to the mat, but hover. Keep the toes curled. Push the floor, shoulders depressed. Inhale, look up, upward facing dog. Exhale, swoop the hips up and back. Now. Twice more, round and roll forward, tuck your chin to your chest like a wave. Exhale, drop the hips. Inhale, upward facing dog, push forward, retract the shoulders, present your heart and lungs. Exhale, swoop back, downward facing dog. Last time, inhale, round and roll forward. Exhale, drop the hips. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job, everyone. Full breath in here. Ujjayi breath out. Walk your hands back to your feet. Take a generous bend in your knees. Clasp your elbows and sway like a right dog side to side. Switch the clasp of your elbows. Drape your spine nice and long. Lay with straightening your legs if you like, but keep the connection belly thighs. Interlace your fingers behind your hips, knuckles overhead, get far away, fist away from your hips. Take a deep breath in, slow breath out. 
release the fingers down to the hips, switch the interlace with the other index on top. Again, extend the knuckles overhead. One more breath, relax the neck and hips. Face down. Release fingers down, walk forward, downward facing dog. Starting the first warm up flow. Nice leg up in here. Bend the knee, open up the hips, exhale. Circle three times, right knee down, and back up. Right knee down, and back up. Large circles coming from the hinge down, nice turn up. And then we square the hips, the shoulders, and we step the right foot outside the right hand. Lizard, inhale, lengthen your heart forward. Exhale, tap the back knee and tuck the back toes. Roll on the blade of your right foot, circle the right arm all around the inhale. Exhale, kick the heel to the back, grab the outside of the foot and stay. You take two breaths here, dropping the hips on the exhale, kicking the shin away to open the right pec as well. Last one in. Out. Releasing without slingshot. Wiggle the right foot in front of your hip. Reach your arms up, inhale, arms link. Exhale, grab the left wrist, pull to the right. Squeeze your butt, pull the belly in. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, all the side. Come back to the center. Palms together, drop your thumbs to the base of your neck. Press your head into your forearms, elbows pointing up. Inhale, reach, look up. Exhale, bend the knee and press your head back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, arm up. And man. Drop your head. Three times forward, inhale. Bend the knee into a lunge. Exhale, move back. Arm up, and man. Again, two. Back. Right hand back, left hand forward. Last one, in. And back. Here again, the leg. Wiggle the foot into. Pigeon pose to the other side. Drop the right knee down. If it's too much for your knee, the right foot can come closer to your midline. Stay onto your fingertips. It's a nice active pigeon pose. Deep breath in. Full breath out. One more in. Out. Good. You plant your palms, you check your back foot, you press into a runner's lunge. Warrior three, let's move forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale, open up. Ardha Shandrasana, half knee plank. Reach up. Bend both legs. Grab the top of your ankle this time. Kick your knee back. Bring the heel to your butt. And lift the knee up, knee spread it to the floor. One more breath in, breath out. Release the foot, square the hips, and then the left foot next to the right hip distance. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Fold down, Uttanasana, bend your knees, release your head if you like. Rise up, palms touch, look up, Uddhasana. Exhale, hands to your heart center, Tadasana. Circle the arms up, inhale. In from your hips, Uttanasana, exhale. Inhale, half lift, Ardha. Clench your hands, step right and left, plank pose. Shift forward into the tips of your toes, shoulders over the wrist, lower of three, two, one, with control. Point your toes, fingertips outside the mat, spiral the elbows up, roll up with bone and shoulders, inhale. Right shift, right shoulder down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, other side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, forehead down. Clench your palms under your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Lift your knees, squeeze your butt. Push to Chaturanga Dandasana. Plank pose, downward facing the dog. Take them here. Left leg up, inhale. Bend your knee, open up your hips, exhale. Circle the knee three times now. And back up, down, and back up. Straight arms down, 
and back up. Extend the leg back and up, square your hips and shoulders. Step forward outside your left palm. Inhale, lengthen into lizard. Exhale, tap the back knee and turn the back toes. A circle the left arm as you roll on the blade of your foot. As you exhale, kick the heel to your butt, grab the outside of your foot. And take two breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Very nice, everyone. Release without slingshot. Wiggle the foot in front of your hips. Inhale, scoop your arms up. Inhale, lunge it in. Grab your right wrist, pull to the left. Exhale. Come back, center in. All the rest on the side, side bend. Come back, center. Palms together, drop your thumbs to the base of the neck. And then reach your gaze up. Arch your upper spine. Look up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knee and look up, press your head back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, Ardha Manasana. Three times, inhale. Exhale, look back. Left head back, right and forward, twice more in. And back. Last one in. And back. Very nice, we bend the knee. We'll go the foot to the right, we move into pigeon, left knee down. We'll go the right leg back, stay onto your fingertips. Again, if your left knee is sensitive, make sure you bring the heel closer to your front hip. Squeeze the butt, lengthen the right leg as far back away from your hips. The more active your muscles are, the more they are willing to surrender and let go and eventually become more flexible and open. If they are weak, they have a tendency to get tight. Nice job. Okay, from here, plant your hands, touch your back foot, press into runner's lunge, fly warrior free right leg off. When you're ready, you can fly off, hands to your heart or arms by your sides. And then we open up into Ardha Shandrasana, half moon pose. Right arm up, toes to the side. Take a deep breath in. Slow breath out. We're gonna bend both legs, grab the top of the right ankle, knee to chest, kick it back. Heel is onto the butt. The heel and the traction of the knee back is opening the right pec. Take one more full breath. Activate your neck, don't let it drop. Release the foot. Spray your hips. Place the right foot next to your left. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Fold Uttanasana. Good. Rise up, palm stretch, Urdhvasana. Look up. Exhale, hands to your heart, Tadasana. Inhale, circle the arms out. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Fingers on the floor, half lift. Plant your hands, step left and right. Shift forward, lower down three, two, one. Fingers outside of the mat, press the tops of the ankles down, roll up in here. Start with the left, left shoulder, left cheek. Inhale, roll up. To the right. Come back, center in. Lower down slow. Forehead touches, hands under your shoulders, wrap the elbows to your midline, tuck your toes, push to chat on your hold, plank pose, down dog to release. Take a deep breath in together, and out of your mouth to let it go. Nice job, everyone. We're going to move into sun salutation letter A. Inhale, heels up, bend your knees, look forward, slightly hop. Jump, step, top of the mat, big toes together. Fingers on the floor if you can, otherwise keep your knees bent. Half lift, look forward, sitting bones back. Exhale, you fold, you bend your knees if you need. Find the connection, belly, thighs. Drop your knees. Rise up, palm stretch, Urdhva, Astasana, stretch up. Exhale, hands to your heart, center. Number one, inhale, stretch up, circle the arms up. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, look forward, 
Plant your hands, step back, plank pose. Shift forward. Exhale, halfway Chaturanga Desna. Upward facing dog, toes at the same time, look up. Downward facing dog, empty the breath. Inhale for three, one, two, three. Bottom of your exhale, heels up. Then your knees look forward, step, hop lightly, top of the mat, big toe stretch. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Eyes inhale, on stretch, look up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Number two, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step, hop, chaturanga on that side. Upward facing dog, don't let go. Down dog, let's go. Heels up, bend your knees lightly, make your way to the top, big toe stretch, half lift, lengthen, fold down, empty, rise up, hands to heart. One last time, inhale, exhale, inhale. Very, very easy. Take a quick break, knees together, feet, to, feet apart, knees apart, and feet together right now. Reach your arms out long, forehead down, chai spoke. Contemplate the sensation within your physical shape. Contemplate your breath and its rhythm. Maybe you consciously soften it, slow it down. All right, you guys, we're gonna move into dolphin pose, okay? So drop onto your forearms and actually interlace your fingers, palms together. You want your elbows to be not wider than your shoulder width apart. Tuck your toes under, hike your hips up, look back to your toes. Push your head through, push into your shoulders, pressing the floor away. You can walk up a little bit more, still looking back. Hike up a little bit more. Hold it for five, breathe in. Breathe out. Four. All the willpower you have not to surrender there. Hold it. Two. Hold it. One. Nice job. Drop on your knees. I know. Puppy stretch. Knees under your hips. Press the ankles and shins down. Reach your arms as far as you can in front of you. Option for your forehead down. Your mouth. Your chin. Even your throat. We hold here. Five. Four. 
gently walk your knees in, chest pose. And we'll left one vertebra at a time. You did it, yogis. Good job. So now, downward facing dog. Let's continue. Hands down, touch your toes, push your hips up and back. Bend your heels up and down. Bend your knees, look four step, hop top of your mat, big toes together. Half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Fold Uttanasana. Bend your knees, brush the floor, Uttanasana. Sit low, reach up. Reach up and go lower. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Plant your hands, step back plank. Take your flow, optional, coming in down and facing dog. Down dog. Nice job, everyone. Right leg floats up and back. Bend your knee, open up your hips. Shift your shoulders over the wrist. Flip your dog on the ball of your right foot. Keep your hips up and push the floor away, right arm up and over. Come back, pivot around the left shoulder, right palm down, right leg up, in here. Exhale, step forward. Back heel down, train track your heels to hip distance. Rise up, palm stretch, warrior one. Exhale, bend the palm knee. Close your ribs, pubic go into sternum, drop your tailbone, squeeze your butt, inhale, reach. Exhale, interlace behind your hips, hunch down, take your back bend, look up. Forward fold, all the way forward, humble warrior. We hold for two, inhale. Inhale, open the arms wide. Warrior two, nice and wide. Take a deep breath in. Empty out, sit low. Stick your right palm in here, reverse. Exhale to Trikonasana, triangle pose. Punch your left hip back, right fingers on the shin, light, on the floor behind you. Left arm up, wide stance. Reach up in here. Extend overhead. Exhale. Head and your feet into Prasamina Padutanasana. Face the long edge of your mat. Take your half lift. Align your fingers with your toes. Exhale, you fold. Bend your elbows back. Traction your head down to the floor. We hold for three. Fingers under your shoulders, take a half lift, look forward. You turn to the back of your mat and you wiggle the left foot outside your left pinky. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap the back knee. Wiggle the right knee further back. Roll on the blade of your foot, circle the arm all around. Kick the heel to the back, grab the foot. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, drop the hips. One more in here. Exhale. In your release, without slingshot. Wiggle the foot in front of your hips. Anjali, reach your arms up, squeeze your back. Right wrist, side bend left. In your center. Left wrist, side bend right. Come back center. Palms together, thumbs to the base of your neck. Reach up and over. Up and over. Imagine you're doing dolphin to the ceiling. Reach up and over. Release arms up. Exhale, Arda Ayamanasana. Three times the drill. In. Back out. And again, in. Back out. 
Nice body in. And back out. Beautiful. Rebend your front leg. We'll go to the right hand. Drop on your left knee. Pigeon. From your pigeon pose. Really sit up nice and tall. You're going to kick your right heel to your back foot side. So sometimes the heel goes out. Keep it vertical. Keep on the top of your thigh. For the exhale. Big boy twist your nose, squeeze your butt that will help you to get out of the crunch in the lower back if there is any. Exhale, inhale, push up. Press the floor, step to a runner's lunge, warrior three, let's fly. Hands to your heart this time. Rub the elbows to your waistline. Inhale, open up, Ardha Shandrasana, half moon pose. Pull yourself up from the right toes, from the right fingers. This time, bend both legs, but grab the inside of your ankle with the external rotation of your shoulder. When you're there, kick up. Kick up into your hand. Right, so there is a slight difference from sugar cane with the internal rotation to the external rotation of the shoulder and going up. This is a variation of the insert pose. The different relationship to gravity. One more breath. You release. You square your hips. Very nice. The right foot lands hip distance in here. Half lift. Folding down. Raise up, palms, stretch your cap. Hands to your heart. Inhale, stretch up. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Half lift, you lengthen. Let your hands step back down dog. Nice your knees. Left leg up, knee up. Bend your knee, open up your hips. Exhale, shift your shoulders over the wrist. Drop on the ball of your left foot. Push your hips up to the ceiling. Wide angle, look up and over. Reach back and over. Reach, reach, reach. Come back, or in again. Left palm down, left leg up. Exhale, step forward to your left thumb. Spin the back heel down. Train track your heels, palm stretch, warrior one, rise. Inhale, you reach. Exhale, you bend. One more time, reach up, look up. Exhale, interlace with the outer index on top. Punch down toward the leg, you look up. Forward fold, humble warrior. Two more, inhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Circle the arms out. Warrior two. Wiggle and readjust your back foot so you're now heel to heel or heel to arch. As you exhale, go deep into that fourth leg. Lift your left palm in here, reverse. Exhale, straighten the front knee, take it down, Trikonasana, triangle pose. Reach up in. Hold for the exhale. Reach up, breathe in. Exhale, extend overhead. Turn in your feet. Prasamitapa Dutanasana. Interlace your fingers behind your hips. Knuckles overhead, get into the shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Slow breath out. And again, deep breath in. And out. Last breath in. And out. Release fingers down, half lift, look forward. Turn to the top of your mat to wiggle the right foot outside your right pinky fingers. Tap the back knee, roll on the blade, sit for the right arm in here. Exhale, kick to your butt, grab the outside of your foot for two breaths in here. Drop it down, exhale. Allow the right shoulder to open one more in here. Exhale. Release gently, wiggle the foot in front of the hip. Anjani, reach your arms up. Left wrist to the right side, bend. Come back center in. 
Draw this side out. Come back to center. Palms to the base of your neck. Thumbs to the base of your neck. In your reach. Elbows closer to one another. Exhale, reach back. Press your head in here. Exhale. In here, reach. Arms up. Exhale, shift your hips back. Aya Imanasana. Three times in here, forward. Exhale, moving back. We keep going two. Exhale, moving back. Last one again. And out. We rebend the leg, we wiggle the foot to the left for pigeon pose. So same thing, right? If you are active, stay onto your fingers. The more active you are, the better. Stay and you bring your left hip down to be on the top of your quad. You're going to squeeze your butt to get out of the lower back. You kick and you squeeze forward. So let the shin go back. It's up. And then back. And again, exhale. In. Last one. Exhale. Hamstrings. Curl. In. Yeah. Plant your palms. Step forward. Little runner's lunge. Warrior three. Let's fly. Squeeze your right butt. Hands to heart. Grab the elbows nice and close the front. Half moon pose. We open up. Left arm goes up. Breathing in. Relax with the fingers. Relax with the toes. Now, bend both legs. Grab the inside of your ankle. Kick it back. So it's an external rotation of that right shoulder. Left shoulder. And then really it's about the kick up. Kick the shin away from your body. Take one more breath. Release gently. Square your hips and then the foot. Half lift your right foot. Exhale, you fold. You rise, come stretch, look up. Hands to your heart center. Deep breath in, circle the arms up. Forward fold, Uttanasana from the hips. Half lift, lengthen. Clench your hands, step back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in into your dog. Stick your tongue out, lion's breath. Come back to Jay. Dolphin pose to finish. Drop on your forearms, interlace your fingers, hike your hips up, 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 press your head back, press your forearms down, we hold for five, you can do it, find the resilience, connect your breath, observe how you react, remain compassionate and kind. You can do this, you know you can. It's always your choice to challenge or honor your sensations if you need to take care of your body. Two more in here. Last one in here. Drop on your knees. Happy pose, happy stretch. Knees under your hips, hips rising, push back. Forehead down, mouth or chin and throat. Five breath. Two more. Melt your sternum down. Good. Walk your knees in. Good shine pose. We roll up, up, up. Good job, babies. All right, so now we are ready to try mermaid and king pigeon pose. Let's do this. Let's try mermaid first. Let's scoot the right knee to the right wrist, right foot, left wrist if you're super open. Otherwise, bring the heel closer to your midline. Personally, I like that better also for myself to be helped when we hold the shape. You're going to kick your heel to your back. 
reach back for the inner thigh like you would do in the variation of half moon pose like you did for the twisting lizard okay stay there some of you number one hold and rest if you want to go further slide your foot inside the elbow crease see how that can help you sit up taller once you're there you reach your left fingertips up the right arm goes up you bind behind your head and you hold mermaid pose beautiful mermaids press your head back try not to sit onto your right hip if you can open up press the left hip down one more breath release gently let's do that on the other side left knee forward left ankle forward nice and then elongate your right leg back sit up tall bend the right leg reach the inside of your ankle or foot with the external rotation you will know that you're externally rotating if your pec is open you don't want to do inside because then you're kind of closing and rolling the shoulder forward sometimes we do double internal rotation for some reason careful thumb up pinky down and then sit up stay there or grab the foot wiggle it into the right elbow crease get your right fingers ready flight your foot so it's really hooked into the forearm and then left arm goes up grab your fingers behind your head and hold the shape and breathe wherever you can breathe breathe and open in spaces you feel it's tight or sore open the shoulders open the right quad hip flexors and find stillness one more oops <laughs> that happens so if you're rolling that's okay try to go back into it sometimes it's because we're not activating the left butt enough and then find a gaze that might help too concentrate concentrate all right let it go let it go good job you guys let's try that king pigeon with the strap okay we'll do with a strap some of you if you want to grab the foot you're more than welcome to try to grab the foot we will do a flip to grip class in another section because that's another technique okay so let's do this right knee forward press the left knee back bend the knee and hook your foot with the loop of your strap now sit up super tall always grabbing the strap with the external rotation of your shoulder swoop your elbow into your waist give yourself as much slack as you need swoop the elbow up into a half circle remember the shape we're doing throughout the flow same thing now you're ready to do dolphin arm position toward the ceiling reach up for the elbow maybe the wrist maybe the strap you're there this is your king pigeon nice you guys i know you're doing it and then again if you fall come back into it hold at least five breaths just to let your body surrender to the shape get to know the shape get to know the blind spot shed some light where you feel tight breathe the breath is the flashlight where do you need to breathe where do you need to open get tall find space one more really super gently good all right let's do that on the other side always important you will notice you will have one side that is much more comfortable than the other out of that and work the side that is a little weaker maybe uh, a quarter more left leg forward right leg back bend the leg loop with the strap 
wiggle the right knee further back, so you're really on top of the quad. Once I grab the strap, I swoop my elbow in and my elbow up. And then I'm ready, dolphin up to the ceiling. Okay, there you go. You hold, you breathe. Squeeze your butt, curl your arm strings. The foot will come naturally, actively forward instead of yanking it. Take two more. One more. Good job. Release it gently. Good job. All right. So that will be your mermaid pose and your king pigeon pose assisted with a strap. Now, flipping the grip, you're almost there. It's kind of like the same technique. You would need to grab the foot with the external rotation, swoop the elbow in, swoop the elbow up. We'll explore that in another class. All right, yogis, let's time to open the hips and rest. We're gonna finish into a straddle. Open your legs up wide. Actually, use your pillow or your brick to sit up and elevate. There you go. Sit up nice and tall. Arms overhead. Fold forward. Anywhere you are is good. You're going to be here for about one minute. Just allowing your pelvis to tilt forward, your lower back to decompress. I know it feels counterintuitive, but it's good to activate your quads, lifting your kneecaps, maybe the toes point up, maybe squeezing the back. Calm yourself and slow down your heartbeat. Already acknowledging all the work you did onto your mat, all the breakthroughs you might have had, the mindfulness, the patience, and all the benevolent qualities of your mind you created onto the mat today through the metaphor of the physical practice. Take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. Whenever you're ready, yogis, you come on up, tuck it into your chest, rolling up. You're going to help yourself to close your legs, sit forward, scoot forward onto your mat, arms reaching in front of you and recline slowly one vertebra at a time. Once you land, I personally like to place the pillow underneath my hips to give myself a little bit of elevation and extend your legs out. And then press onto your front hip bones, press onto your hip flexors. Flushing the hips, arms by your sides when you're ready. You're going to take a deep breath in, and a deep breath, release. Shavasana. Allowing your breath to be natural and controlled. Softening your palms, your soles, your belly. The space between your eyebrows and your jaw. Taking your full body scan, melting every single cell, every single muscle, tendon, bone. moment of restoration and rest. If you have a few more moments, I invite you to stay as you are and enjoy the practice of Shavasana for a few more minutes. Ready to get going. 
the mat. Rolling your toes, your fingers. Reach your arms up and over. Find a long, deep stretch. Bring your knees in to your chest. And then release the pillow. Roll onto your right or left side into a fetal position. Take your bicep as a pillow for a second. Again, if you decided to stay as you are, please do not move. When you're ready, otherwise, come on up, eyes still closed, and come to a comfortable seat. You reach your arms up and overhead. Exhale, twist to the right, left hand onto your right knee. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, opposite. Inhale, come back up. Hands to your third eye to remember to have always quality of thoughts and to know that we are able to rewire the thoughts process. The thumbs to your lips for quality of speech. The thumbs to your heart for quality of action. I thank you for your practice, your presence, your hard work, and always your dedication to your practice, your moment, your mindfulness creation onto the rubber rectangle. Lots of love. Namaste.